Yo, this is the Tunnel Plays Pokemon Violet, and it's finally time. Finally time. Because if you can see here, we have a lot of stuff to do. We have 18 tasks. We haven't done a single one of them, but that ends today. Our very first objective is the first of eight gym badges. Let's battle the gym leader of Cotondo, Katie. She is the master of the bug type. Welcome back, Sitano. I heard you were on a roll out there. Yeah, nice pun. A big congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym test. You now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck! So here we go. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Katie the sugar bug? Uh, the sugar bug. What does that even mean? A bug that makes sugar? Well, we're ready anyways. Let's go. Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. So here we go. The battle court is coming up. Loads a bit. And... It loads a bit more. There we go. So yeah, we are basically now in the middle of Cortondo. There she is. Eat up, my cute little villain. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I am the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I am on duty as leader of the Cortondo Gym right now. Forgive me. Ahem. <clears throat> my name is Katie, and I am the gym leader here in Cortondo. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokémon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. We'll see. Anyways, let's go. Music changes. This is time. Challenge by Gym Leader Katie. Oh, yeah. First one will be Nimble, one of the new Pokemon. Nimble is a pure bug type Pokemon. Don't pick my bug type Pokemon lightly. You'll be in a world of pain if you do. We'll see. So, Nimble is a pure bug type. This is one of the new ones. Looks pretty cool. We don't see anything of it because we haven't seen the Pokedex yet, so. I think I know it is a bug type Pokemon. It's one of the new ones in Generation 9. So we know what you can do. Incinerate. Easy, easy. Yeah. Good thing we picked the Fire Starter. We'll make a lot of health here. Next up is Tarantula. We switch our Pokemon. Might as well give it something else. No fun. Well, no, why not? Let's bring in our dear Flamigo. Let's have a new Pokemon, a new Pokemon. Tarantula. Tarantula we already have seen before. We met this one at the Poco Path. It's also a pure bug type Pokemon. It looks like it has like, sort of like a. almost like some wool. Spinning around it. Anyways, it's a pure bug type, so flying, fire, rock is good. Let's wing attack this one. And that one is a simple one. So now it's round that means we have one more Pokemon to face. Next up is Teddy Ursa. 
But Teddy Ursa is not a bug type. We know that one, but Teddy Ursa is from Generation 2. Teddy Ursa is a pure normal type. Well, let's just bring in Crocolor anyways. You want to finish this one in style, we might as well just bring in our starter again. Let's bring in Crocolor. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? Okay, Teddy Ursa. Yeah, this is the cute little Teddy Ursa from Generation 2. A normal type, but a little cute teddy bear. Can't see the stats of it because, again, you haven't seen it in the Pokédex yet. So we'll see what we can do for it. Now, I could, of course, I know this one we can easily win this one easy, but let's just make this a bit more fun. So let's go with uh, Leer. Now, my little Pokémon, time to break free from a cocoon and come into your own! She's by the Terra Slice. So this is why she's bringing to the Ursa. It has the bug Terra type. Yeah. This is something you will see of pretty much every gym leader in uh, this game. They will use Terra types that is not the same of their own typing. Fury swipe three times. No, four. It changes that Fury swipes can crit individually. Yeah, five times. That's a pretty lucky one. But if she wants to slice, then so can we. Let's do it. Let's rest slice our dear Crocolor. Make him mold with fire. Then you get the bonus because we're the same type. Incinerate comes in, and that's going to be a one-hit KO. Remember, Teddy Ursa is not bug type because of the Terra type. That means he's weak to fire now instead of being weak to fighting. And that's going to be an easy KO. And that is our first objective done, guys. We did it. Oh, my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies. It's the first gym. It's supposed to be easy. It's not hard. It will get tougher later on, but this one is easy. Your strength rose during a battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations! You passed! As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you enjoyed it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. So there we go, Cortona Gym defeated, cute little picture of us eating cupcakes, and we got the bug badge. Yeah! With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? And we get TM's 021 pounds, which is a pretty cool bug type physical move. Use attacks by pouncing the target. This will also lower the target's speed stat. Basically the same thing as Bulldoze, which is a ground move, but that will also lower speed. Once you found a TM during your travels, you can then use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. You did know that, right? I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good desert. Or dessert, even. Off you go then, until we meet again. That felt nice. It felt really nice. We finally got ourselves our first objective done, but we have 17 more. And speaking of which, phone calls. Hey, hey, Satano! Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How did it go to the gym, by the way? I passed. Yes! Ha ha ha! 
I mean it. It was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, past me. I'm training hard too, by the way. Day and night. Going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next. Especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm. Speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. Hope you know I'm gonna want to battle if we run into each other. Yeah, uh, it's pretty much what we also expect. But she has a point. A very valid point. So, when we were back at Mesa Goza, we had a choice to go either west or east. I decided to go west first because I found the bug type gym to be easily the, be the, the best sort of like entry level objective to clear first. But then comes the question, what then? Because if you look at the map, we have some objectives that are not that far away. We have another gym here. We also have a Titan here. And we have a Team Star here with another gym here and other stuff here. But, I think we should listen to what um, Nimona says. And that we probably should take a little detour back to Mezagosa and head the other direction to see what Arvin's up to. And after that, we can then take a bit of a stroll on where we want to go ourselves. Go to Pokemon Center first and heal up. There we go. Should try to use all the Pokemon a bit more in the battles to come. Yeah, Terra Absorb Restore because you can only use Terra Battle once per um, a while. You need to go to Pokemon Center to heal up. Go to TM Machine now. We can see that we got some new TM that can be made now. Let's see if we can find the uh, pounds. There it is. A 50 accuracy, 100 power, 20 PP. So it's pretty decent starter physical bug move. Need nimble claws and you turn to a thread. So you need to buy some nimbles to get the claws and then 800 leg, leg points. Which is you can get if you just find these Terra uh, raid places. You'll get them in no time. So that's nice. Now, sometimes when you battle these trainers out in the wild, you can also go to these guys here. Hello there! I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? So far you defeated 5 trainers here in Area 2 of the South Province. On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. And we get a very nice TM. This TM would have made even this gym battle even easier, but yeah, we don't even need it because we picked the fire starter. It's Air Lace. We're holding this challenge for other areas around Paldea too. Stop by and try them. Basically, this, this battle is that you need to battle a certain amount of trainers, then talk to this guy at the Pokemon Center near town, and they'll give you some prizes, which can be all from materials to TMs and etc. So, I do recommend to, to battle trainers, then go to this guy to get some stuff. Some of the TMs you can get this game can only go from this guy, and then you can craft them here. Aerial Ace is basically a wing attack in power. The difference being that Aerial Ace has a, hundred, has a guaranteed hit rate, it can never miss, which is nice. Did we battle you before? Yeah, you can battle them again. I bought some delicious cake from Pantasaria Soapberry. Let's accelerate for the battle. I think I battled this guy before, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's a Fampy. Maybe I didn't battle him before. The Fampy is a Generation 2 Pokemon, a ground type. This Pokemon was exclusive to Pokemon Silver in the first game. Remember, because I had silver and not gold. Then I was like, I can't get Teddy Ursa because Teddy Ursa is a um, Pokemon Gold exclusive of the trade. That was an easy battle at least. Even though it's a ground type. This cake makes me so happy, I don't even mind losing. Good for him, I guess. So yeah, um... The objective Cortana is not gone, but we're going to go instead to Mesa Goza next time. I'm going to head east 
Because here we have three objectives to go through. Or we even have more, because there's like, one here, there's one, one here, and one here. So, I think I'm going to take a little detour next. Let's see. We have some time to walk some more. Some hop hips here, a small live there. Sun is up. Got a cricket tot here as well. Some items. I like to explore items when I play this game in the Pokemon Scarlet because I feel like I never really had to go to the poker shop to buy stuff because I just got a lot of stuff just from exploring. Here we also have a uh, Terra type of a Pokemon. This is a Diglett. Be careful though. Those Terra type Pokemon usually are, are, are higher levels than other wild Pokemon in the area. And they also have these Terra types. So we might not really know how to beat them. We might not be prepared because they might have a very different one. Oh, this is a cool. So adamant mint. Mints are a nice thing because if you go to your Pokemon, let's say Crocolore, then it'll say here. This Pokemon is pretty quirky by nature. Quirky is a neutral nature, which means it has no change to stats. But if you go to uh, Mass uh, Mass Chief. You see, the Mastiff has plus special attack, minus special defense. This is because he has the Rash nature. And you can see here, Whooper has plus special defense, minus defense. Meryl has neutral. Palmy has plus speed, minus special defense. And Flamigo has minus special attack, plus special defense. Because of these natures. Now, natures, usually in the, in the older games, in the old games, if you wanted a Pokemon with a specific nature, you had to basically capture them. Because that was basically set in stone. But I think that in generation... Was it 7 or 8? You can also find these mints. These mints can change the nature of a Pokemon. So if you use the Adamant Mint on some Pokemon, they'll have the nature change. And you can also see what the nature does. So Adamant Nature makes the Pokemon's attack goes up and the special attack goes down. This is usually the most preferred type of um, of nature for Pokemon that are physical type Pokemon because usually you don't really need a Pokemon that has both special attack and physical attacks. I mean, some of them are very good, but mostly you want to have one that focuses on one, either physical attack or special attack. Those, of course, that are of the offensive Pokemon. Then Adamant Nature is great, because if you don't need special attack, you just use Adamant Nature and you don't really lose anything of the stats. Because defense, special defense, is important to stay alive, and speed can also be important if you want to get the first hit. Especially when Pokemon are almost equalized on speed, and you want to make sure that you have the first strike. Because first strike can be a game changer, it can matter everything. Especially in tight battles, where who goes first? decides who wins. Got the gimme goal here. Got a Pokemon Center here if you need to heal up. Some more Starlies here. We got some more Marils here. Yeah, basically almost back to where we began. Pretty nice. We got uh, some Sunkerns here. We got some small lives. Orenberry. Marils here too. So it's a Pokemon raid here, or a Terra raid even. I don't know if it's the same as before. Maybe it's a different one. Ah, this one. It's a Saki type. Seems to be Deerling. But yeah, make sure just to talk to the these uh, Terra raid dungeons because you get league points just by looking at them. And then it will be important because you need to use them to get uh, TMs made. Anyway, that's going to be another this episode. We have finally gotten our first objective because we can see on the map now. You see that now we had a 1 symbol here. You also got the badge share, which means that the objective is complete. So now, where should we go next? Well, we're going to go east next and see what we can find of these objectives around here. See if we can do more of them, perhaps, as well. Before we go back here again and see if we can find in the areas around here. Because there's more stuff to do here. 
We'll see though, one objective down, 17 to go, so the journey has only just begun. Like, comment, and subscribe, follow me on social media. And that's going to be it for now, see you guys next time as my journey in Pokemon Violet continues.